Listen carefully as to why mRNA could be a problem. And this is just based on the physiology as to how modified RNA works. You have to realize that normally uh, cells produce RNA, messenger RNA, what we call mRNA, when they are producing, trying to make proteins from the nucleus. So it's transcribed from DNA into RNA. The messenger RNA is then converted into a protein, okay? That's the normal fashion. And what the vaccine has done is that they have modified the RNA for the protein that they want. So they wanted to make a spike protein. And because normal RNA is destroyed very quickly, they've modified it with methyl pseudouridine. That's the principle with regards to modified RNA. So don't call it mRNA because mRNA is messenger RNA, which is normal in a cell. Modified RNA with methyl pseudouridine is not normally in a cell. The problem then becomes if this has evaded the innate cellular immunity, because normally a cell assumes that if RNA is present, it's from a virus. And so therefore it will want to block it. Now, because it is evading that immune system, what happens if this cell doesn't die? Will it continue to produce spike protein indefinitely, especially if this is an immune cell? These are the kinds of questions that really need to be clarified because without that clarification, we don't know what the longer term implications are.